subtle note. Maybe the, the emotions but are here ranking. we go. Let's get into on map sinister. two. And uh, I'm on Evil's perspective once again. Can he make it two max victories? Beating Cypher would be huge for Evil. Doing that on LAN. Story to Ooh. tell the kids. It's a nice rail there. It's sort of uh, awkward pathing for Evil, though. There's a lot of time before anything comes back up, but we're going to be expecting Cypher to have the top of the map. And so Evil's not really going to have a lot of pressure on Cypher up here, allowing Cypher to move in no. and do a lot of damage what? on Evil. Oh, no! <laughs> I thought Evil was going to clean that up quite nicely, getting nah. the initial damage of the rail. I thought he was looking good, but Cypher getting the mutual frag, I think, is pretty good for him. Uh, for, a bit for, of a reset. For second red, moving through Rocket Launcher to, uh, to get into a position on it, it's sort of asking Cypher to show up. But the, the fact that he got that rail to begin with meant yeah, that yeah. he, by default, just had a, a better setup to begin with. So yeah, but Cypher's a manly Cy man. Yeah, Cypher's rockets. You know, you've always, that's an extra, you've, but you've always got, always got to take into equation. And that rail was... Pretty awesome that from Cypher. So we have a score reset there, but absolutely not a spawn reset. Evil still able to pull off a lot of health, a lot of armor. Oh, and that rail again, leaving Cypher railable. Go back for that armor. We've already seen that uh, go south in one of these series here today. Evil might come through the teleporter. Cypher expecting that. There's a little bit of chip damage, nothing for Evil to worry about. He gets a clean red. And Cypher wondering what the hell he should be doing at the moment. And that's actually kind of what we saw in Lost World as well. This is so early to have this sort of, uh, this does look like a little bit of a lock. He knows that he's got to worry about Evil's Rail. I mean, he hasn't gotten anything here. He's leaving yellows up. He's waiting for a Rail on red and or a grab on Meg. I mean, the timing's close, but Evil has the opportunity to put pressure on both. But no, Evil kind of plays still. it straight. He, he doesn't do anything fancy there. He just goes for the red armor that he knows he can grab, trading it with Cypher on the Mega. I think Evil was expecting Cypher to be hiding there. It's a very sort of quiet part of the map. You won't yeah, see that yeah. many fights happening in that area. And honestly, you don't see Cypher being that quiet for that long very often. And Evil is actually going to push over. There's five seconds still on this red, so this fight, is it going to last a long enough time? Cypher looks for a rail shot. He might go for another, but he's pushing it real hard right now. Sitting in a fight with nine health left, only Cypher is the type of person to do that. And Sitting get away on with this it. yellow armor with uh, nothing else to work with. Mega's going to be up, and Cypher can't really afford to show up here. Yeah, I think he, he has to go for it. So Cypher's fully stacked back up once again, and Cypher goes evil. Sorry. Uh, silent mode once again. But last time we went silent, he wasn't really uh, cycling yellows. But he was able to get that mega. I, I would say that mega grab that Cypher was able to get was more Evil's fault than it was Cypher's sneakiness. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, Cypher being able to get just one yellow per rotation mm -hmm. and maybe make get a sneaky grab of a, a major yeah. item. That's fine. It's fine for him. He doesn't mind the fact that he has to you know, put his tail between his legs and run away from fights. The whole point is, is he's trying to avoid Evil finding him. Hey, it, it that's what Evil needs to do right it, now. It worked for Zorak. <laughs> So three I'm minutes knocked off here. And yeah, you're right. Cypher's got a, a decent uh, almost 150 stack here. Close. Yeah. He's making the right reads, though. He knows that, okay, both the yellows are up. I know which uh, yellow Evil's Ooh. going to, but I've got to be careful. I think Evil should pu push through that choke point. And with Red and Mega spawning at the same time, this is the perfect opportunity for Cypher to get himself on an item. But taking that rail shot, that was really bad. But now Evil knows where Cypher is, so he knows how to bully him off of one item and potentially oh. uh, do damage on both. Oh, he's not going through the wow. teleporter, didn't commit to it. So Cypher, a little bit pleased about that. I think that's a big surprise. Yeah. Evil just standing by the teleporter exit. He lands one rail, there's a bit of a trade. Zoom on Cypher coming out. Cypher was actually expecting more hurt there. But he's going to have to leave it up now that he's out of rockets. And are rockets going to be trapped out by Evil? No, not at all. He's able to get back up there cleanly. Still two seconds to red, and Cypher's going to have timing on it and potentially get this grab. Now here comes Evil just to throw out a couple pot shot rockets. Does Evil know the kind of stack he's able to work with? There's a lot of respect being given uh, by both loads, players. Loads. I'm going to switch over to Evil, and I'm just going to have a look and see what he's able to do. Because Cypher has now actually got himself quite a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. wonder how he wants to approach this. He's making sure that if he's going to get a first frag, it's going to be clean. He's going to be able to have control after it. Cypher pushes in. I don't think he's going to be able to stay there. This red is okay. evil's. This could Not be a power evils. play for evil. Now he knows that the timing between red and mega is a little bit more comfortable. Now he doesn't need to make those sort of decisions between the two. <laughs> but he 
He's still inviting Cypher in. He wants to bait him in, and he's going to catch him at least a little bit here looking for the one rail they're going to trade. And that's all right with Evil. He's still got five comfortable seconds to get over to red, and he can cut him off here. Nice catch of side oh, of him going through the teleport as well, which potentially means he gives up the position, but that rail gives Cypher second thought. So that was an amazing rail there from Evil. Yeah. Any untraded damage in favor of Evil, right? It sends him miles into the lead. Remember that Evil has a lot of points to catch up here uh, for his team. He does, but Evil's looking for a dual division yeah, yeah. victory here. He, he right, knew so. what he came here for, and exactly. right now he's doing it. Yeah. But Evil, Evil has such an advantage, though Cypher does take the Mega. He's moving into the Lightning Gun. Evil is going to have to get the kill. One rocket sent his way, but he will take the lead. The Cypher's five minutes of sne sneakiness does not pay off. Mm. So that was a bit of a messy fight there for Evil, but he's got time to rec recover. Now we've got a, another almost split timing between Red and Mega. A lot of the split timings here. Uh, wow, it's going all horribly wrong for Cypher right now. He's making poor reads versus Evil. I think this might be a spawn frag as well. Nice. Evil can't quite get the rail at the end. He's going to get Mega. And what? Oh. Cypher moves in? <laughs> That's unexpected, but Evil rails in between the eyes. Ole! <laughs> I, and you remember that trick. That's a, that's a good one. Let him get the Mega. Just make sure you absolutely smash him as he bounces into the wall. Yeah, one for the books. Yeah, it was, it was a good return. It's almost as if Evil was expecting Cypher to do something It looked crazy. orchestrated. Yeah. Uh, Evil knows that Cypher is capable of doing some very unpredictable things. So he's making sure that he's ready for absolutely everything. And that's why I think he's been so careful, because he, he knows that there could be a Cypher around a corner. He doesn't want to go searching the corners for Cypher in case right. that trap actually happens. Giving those rail opportunities to Cypher is absolutely not something he wants to do. In fact, taking a look here right now, uh, Cypher's at 45%, 41% rail, but only firing 13 shots. Look, look, uh, he was at 47. Evil. Nice damage there from uh, Evil. Cypher's got a little bit of a, of a health stack here. Evil all up on the armor. But now they're even enough now that Evil needs to do a little bit of unanswered damage. Oh, wow. there it is. <laughs> That's Cypher, it. Cypher's getting curious in all the wrong places. Evil doesn't play right next to the items. He's hoping that Cypher's going to make these, sort of, these curious plays to get information on the major items, but he just ends up walking right into him. There's another rail from Evil. He's looking for... A further one, which could potentially extend his lead if he's able to land it. The yellow's up, but Cypher has just got to leg it. Yeah. There's just over two minutes. Cypher to get two frags back. This looks incredibly difficult. I think Cypher made a rocket jump there to get himself closer to a 50 health bubble. I'm going to go over to Cypher because he needs to work some miracles. Yeah, this is the time to pull out all the stops like he tried to do on Lost World. And actually body blocking Evil before going for the Mega, that was actually a nice little play. It's going to be wow. traded items with that rail. Those are the sort of opportunities that Cypher has been looking for all oh, map. Yeah. And it's to Evil's credit that he just hasn't been giving them to him. But now that he's not able to follow up with any damage, he has to go back for items. And Evil's got so many more items available to him. At this point, though, Evil could uh, avoid these fights at will uh -oh, almost. Uh -oh. And again, the unanswered damage forcing him back up the jump pad. GG, Cypher's it calling it. That, that means that Evil has won overall in the series versus Cypher. That's just crazy. He's just made it look so simple. That's insane. If you don't let Cypher be sneaky, then he's it's, it's valueless. There's, there is no, there's no money in his play. I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted at the fact that Evil is able to Shell pull shot. that off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cypher really has to win this map if he wants any hope in getting into top two. That was an incredibly cranial game that Evil was, was mm -hmm. playing there. Uh, he made... Maybe only two mistakes, and they were mistakes only because both of them were holding their cards so close to their chest. Yeah. You know, they had to read each other based off of very little information for such a long time, and Evil did a fantastic job of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm stunned. I think Cypher's not going to be happy at all. I mean, 